Francisco and was unable to find the Airwalk Desert Chukka boot he was looking for. So he dreamt up ShoeSite.com, a website where you would be able to find any and every shoe that was made available. He knew starting a business can be pricey, so he had to find the cash to get started, which is how he met Tony Shea. A few years before, Tony had created a company called Link Exchange, a business based on selling ad space and promotion online, which was a new idea. It started with 10 friends, innovating and having a ton of fun. But after a year, it was over 100 people, and the fun was gone. Tony would hit snooze on his alarm every morning to avoid going into work at his own company. This is not what anyone wanted. But luckily, Microsoft had expressed interest in buying Link Exchange, and it was sold for $265 million. As his next project, he created Venture Frogs, a venture capital business incubator. This is when Tony and Nick first met. The only problem was, Nick didn't actually know anything about the world of footwear. And as a smart investor, Tony told him to find someone who knew the industry before he would agree to finance the idea. Enter Fred Mosler, a senior buyer from Nordstrom's. After some talks with Nick and some careful consideration, Fred, with his mad shoe experience, jumped on board and became the very first employee of ShoeSite.com, and Venture Frogs was in. ShoeSite.com was going to be all about selection, so why limit ourselves to just shoes? Nick suggested using the Spanish word for shoes, which is zapatos. Look at how cute the Airwalk Desert chuck boot looks in a sombrero. We chopped it down to Zappos.com, but thought it looked like Zappos. So we added a second P, and Zappos.com was born. We quickly realized people near our home office in San Francisco were getting their orders within four to five business days, which was great. Regrettably, the folks on the East Coast were waiting much longer. We had to take a look at logistics. UPS has their Whirlport hub located in Louisville, Kentucky, and any package you ship across the country has to go there first. So we had a brilliant idea. In 2002, we moved here to Shepherdsville, Kentucky, where orders are moving so fast, no matter where you are, west coast to east coast, items are delivered within four to five business days. Sometimes I've heard it's even faster. The next step was to find a way to provide even better customer service to the customers contacting us. San Francisco is a great town with an amazing history, but it wasn't the best place to have a 24-hour working environment. So we decided to look for a new home. Las Vegas is a town created on the 24-hour lifestyle with hospitality and fun as the main focus. When we moved here in 2004, we had 96 employees. 70 made the move with us, and our family has now grown into the thousands and is powered by our 10 core values. Deliver wow through service. Embrace and drive change. Create fun and a little weirdness. Be adventurous, creative, and open-minded. Pursue growth and learning. Build open and honest relationships with communication. Build a positive team and family spirit. Do more with less. Be passionate and determined. Be humble. In 2009, Amazon.com proposed marriage to Zappos.com, and we all became part of the Zappos family. And in 2012, Amazon adopted our fulfillment center in an effort to continue growing our logistical strength. Now that you've seen how we got our start, let's show you who we've become. I almost feel like I'm running out here. Like the old days, I can't do that. You ladies didn't want to leave it in the luggage room? It's okay. If you get tired, let me know. I'll carry it for you. Okay. All right. Kim, yeah, Kim will. Kim will carry it. <laughs> per Ruben. All right, friends. So again, I'm Danny. I'm the Culture Kitten. If you have any questions, feel free to ask um, and take pictures of everything except the computer monitors. And if you do get me, please get my left side because that's my good side. I'll see you back there with the, the camera too. <laughs> too, don't forget. Left side. So we're going to start our tour here in Recognition Hall. Uh, a bunch of memories on the walls that we've created throughout the past 13 years. All of these t-shirts here are from record-breaking days that we've had in the company. Our very first record-breaking day happened November 30th, 2004. It took five years for that to happen. It was a very exciting time. We decided to celebrate. 
So that t-shirt, it says, my company sold a million dollars in one day, and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. <laughs> Everybody in the company got a t-shirt, and we had a really big happy hour as well. And that's a bit of our tradition. Every time we have a record-breaking day, we get to celebrate. We turn off the phones in the call center to let those people take a celebratory shot. Under 21, you have to drink milk. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then we get to have a big happy hour, and we always get a fun t-shirt designed as well. Our most recent record-breaking day was last Cyber Monday. We sold $22 million that day, so that's the very last t-shirt that you're going to see on the wall. So feel free to check them out. All of the books behind you, uh, it's our company culture book. Has anyone heard of a culture book? Yeah? It's like our version of a yearbook, except instead of the employees having their own individual picture, we actually do a submission as to how we feel about the company and the culture. So we've done this in 2004 as well. Um, our 2011 book is kind of heavy. We don't keep it on the wall. We keep it in our library. I'll give you guys a chance to check that one out a little later. But it's basically just where we give our thoughts, feelings, and opinions on how we feel about the company and the culture. So if you've never checked out a culture book, it's pretty fun. And we include pictures from different events that we've had throughout the year as well. So that's our company culture book. All right, so we're going to head this way. Feel free to check out more of the t-shirts. We have a couple on the wall from our sister site, 6pm.com. Has anyone heard of 6pm? No? Really? 6pm.com is our great friends, great value site. All of the merchandise on this site is 50 to 80% off. Um, so if you're a fan of Zappos and you're also a bargain shopper, you love a great deal, 6pm is your go-to. Their first record-breaking day was 10-10-10. I actually worked in the call center on this date, and everyone on the call center floor was like, oh, 6pm's having a $10 sale on their website. $10 items on their website, they made $1.17 million that day. It took them three years to have a million dollar record breaking day, whereas it took Zappos five years. Um, so since they did it on 10, 10, 10, why not do it again on 11, 11, 11? They did the very same thing. $11 items on their website, they made two million that day. Um, they did a 12, 12, 12 sell as well. But Cyber Monday last year was bigger for them. I think they did five mil and then four mil for 12, 12, 12. So they have a couple of t-shirts on the wall as well. And we're almost out of room. So, oh well, we'll hang them up in the City Hall building. <laughs> yeah. All right, friends. So we're going to head around the corner this way. Ruben's doing a good job at leading the crowd. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> good stuff. Yeah. So as we go through the building, you guys will notice a bunch of fun open space. Uh, here on the first floor, we all sit on the left side. And on the right side, we have conference rooms that we use for private moments and team meetings. You won't find too many personal offices around Zappos. And we do that so that we are able to build relationships with each other. Uh, you're also going to notice a lot of fun decorations hanging up from the ceiling, the walls. You'll also notice license plates hanging from the ceiling as well. That's our fun, weird version of a nameplate. And you might notice a few different types of plates. For every employee who started with the Zappos family prior to the Amazon marriage in 2009, they will have a colorful license plate like Jen here. Uh, that colorful license plate says Zappos.com, powered by service. That's a, one of our original logos. The blue and white plate, like Melissa, says part of the Zappos family. After we married Amazon, we changed our logo to part of the Zappos family because you become a family once you get married. So all those blue and white plates will say part of the Zappos family. If you see a paper plate, if you look towards the back there, there's a paper yeah. plate back there. Hey, ladies. Hi. Excuse that us. means that employees have been heading with you. us for less than one year. So <laughs> although they're new to the Zappos family, I like to call them a baby Zapponian. Um, they still have an identity with the paper license plate. And on their one-year anniversary, we officially welcome them to the Zappos family with their own license plate. So they'll get the blue and white plate. And each year on our anniversary, we get a new registration sticker to put on that plate. It's not an expiration date. It's the number of years they've been with the company. So <laughs> we're not kicking them out. That's just how long they've been around. So it's a cool way to see the tenure that we have at the, uh, at the office. This first team here is our Couture team. Uh, all the people, hi guys. <laughs> That's how they say hello. <laughs> All the teams that we're going to come in contact with down here are the merchandising teams. So they are the people that are responsible for all the brands that we have on our site. So if we carry your favorite brand, these are the people to thank for that. Uh, our couture team is going to handle all of our high-end brands. Joey, what's one of your favorite high-end brands? Hey, ladies. Hi. Um, Ferragamo, that's a good one. We have that yeah, one. Yeah, like, really? Yeah, mm -hmm. on our couture website, couture.zappos.com. Oh, cool. yeah. Hi, girls. Hi. Thanks for joining us. Where are you ladies from? New York. New York. Oh, all the way to see us? Yes, Yay. just for you. Thank you. That's so sweet. All right, well, you haven't missed much. We're going to say hello to some of our friends in merchandising. You girls can totally take pictures of anything in the office except for the computer screens, and then always get me from the left side, okay? 
All right. More friends this way, guys. Monkey row. Wow. And if you notice, it's actually placed in the middle of our merchandising team. Right here, we have the desk of our mayor. His name is Jerry. Uh, he doesn't actually have a title of mayor in the Las Vegas city, but he is the mayor of Zappos. He helps us out with any help that we might need. If I need help with tours, if our girls at the front desk need help with reception, whatever we need help with, Jerry is here to help us. Uh, he also likes to say that his job title is to make sure everyone is happy. So he does provide snacks. Anyone want some peanuts? Are these apples for anyone? Liz? Are these apples yeah, for anyone? Yeah, they are for anyone. Yeah. So if you would like to grab something, please feel free to do so. Uh, if you notice the license plate right behind Jerry's desk, it says Tony. That's where Tony sits. Go figure. He does not sit in an office. Tony sits in a cubicle just like we do. Behind Tony is Fred. If you remember from the video, Fred was recruited from Nordstrom's to help get Shoe Sight started. Shoe Sight is now Zappos. And behind Fred, we have Steve Hill. He's our VP of Merchandising. To the left of Tony, Chris Nielsen is our CFO, COO that we got from our big pop of Amazon. So these fellas, uh, this might be seen as executive row in some corporate offices, but this is Zappos. We're not really that corporate, so we call it monkey row, and this is where you'll find the monkeys. And the reason why they sit here with no door is because anyone can walk in at any time and say hello to them, give them a high five, ask them how their day is going. We've taken it from the open door policy to the no door policy, and this is how we get to connect and build a relationship with the fellas. So. Uh, here at Monkey Row, we also have our Time Ninja. Can I get up with <laughs> Liz and Marta, Carrie is out with her new baby boy. Uh, but they're Time Ninjas, and that's just our phone word term for assistant. So they uh, assist the folks here on Monkey Row with their busy schedules. So, yeah, this is Monkey Row. It's okay? It's fine? Yeah. You sure? Because if not, we can do it again. Let's do it again. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Any questions? Okay, so we're gonna move along right this way. Oh, yeah, go ahead, snap a picture. Uh, merchandise and apparel that's related to athletics, outdoor, uh, golf, western, running. If you're into any of that type of merchandise and apparel, feel free to check us out. We do have those types of stuff on our website just for you guys. Are you into camping? Yep. Yeah, we got some camping here for you. You like to play golf? <laughs> okay, well, if you ever change your mind and you wanna get better, check us out. Stories I hear. <laughs> this is actually some empty hoteling space that we set up. We have about 250 of our Zapponians that we had to move to an office over on Carson Street in downtown Las Vegas. Are you guys familiar with the downtown pro uh, move and project? So the revitalization. Um, yep. September of this year, this year actually, we'll all be downtown in the old city hall building, all 1,400 of us. Um, but we've outgrown this space so much so that we already had to move about 250 people. Whenever any of them need to come to the office for maybe a meeting uh, or any of the classes that we offer, they can come hang out in the empty hoteling space. So that's what this area is. There's no glass here. Don't worry. You're not, you're not tripping. There's just nothing there. <laughs> All right. So I have a few more friends to show you. We're going to step out of merchandising and into customer service. Hi, guys. It's it sure do. They were just there on the floor. Our team members were there last week. Say hello to our live chat team. Say hi, live chat. Hi, chat. Hi. Woo! Why don't you go, chat? <laughs> phones. Back to the phones. You never want to call again. That's what it's like. Once you go chat, you never go back. So this is our dedicated live chat team. If you're familiar with our customer service, we offer 24-7 customer service. Not just for phones, but live chat as well. This is a team of 92 individuals that help to make our 24-7 live chat possible. So any time of day or night, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, whenever you want to chat in with us, we will have someone here to chat in with you. If you have uh, the Zappos mobile app on your iPhone, you can still chat in from the app. You don't even have to call us then. So you can chat right in from the, the Zappos mobile app, and it's great. And one of these lovely people will be here to assist you. So if you don't want to call us, chat in with us. This is actually our second largest contact avenue. So they're not calling us. Chat list, and we don't call this in the right way. Yeah. <laughs>